Hello everyone and welcome. In today's video, I want to show you step by step how I created this layout. I mean this hero area. So you can see here this we have this faded image here in the background and I also managed to add this Apple Watch and also this brief description. So this technique here makes your um, hero areas really stand out and really, really look nice. So I want to show you step by step how to create this. Now, before we get started, I'd like to say if you want to learn how to design professional looking websites with Divi, I have a bonus for you. If you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my web design formula course. This course teaches you pretty much everything that you need to know about web design. Perhaps you could use this knowledge to start designing websites and become a freelance designer or set up your own agency. Anyway, if you buy Divi, let me know in the comments box and I'll give you access to the course. Now, if you already have Divi, no problem. I also have a VIP membership. So this VIP membership gives you access to everything on funnelstoincome.com. Pretty much all the courses, as long as your membership is active. All right, guys, let's dive in and let me show you step by step how I created this hero image. Let's dive in. All right, so our work here is going to start in Photoshop. So the very first thing I'm gonna do is to duplicate this layer, just in case we make a mistake while we're, while we're editing on this. Right, so to duplicate the layer, all you have to do is to hold and click on Command J Okay, so now it's duplicated. So the next thing we need to do here is to turn this image into a black and white. So to do that, I'm gonna come over here to the bottom and choose black and white. So now you can see my image has now been turned into black and white. Great. The next stage now is to just add a color above this. So I'm gonna hold down a shift key and click on the second image, I mean on the second layer and hit command E. So what it does is it combines the filter that I did and also the, uh, the the image. Okay, so the next stage now is to just colorize this. So I'm gonna come back over here to the bottom and I'm going to look for, let's try hue and saturation because sometimes this works. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click here where it says colorize. So you can see immediately I've just added a tint to this. So what I can do now is I can make it even lighter by just clicking here on the lightness. Yeah, so let's do that. And um, I'm gonna come all the way to the top here. And this is where you can change the hue. So you can, you know, change the color here to whatever, you know, pretty much works for you. And you also have a chance to play around here with the saturation. So I want this image here to be really, really light because I'm gonna have some text above it. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna go now and just make it even more lighter, all the way down to, let's see, as far as we can go. So let's go with that. So let's go with 85. So this looks great. So I'm gonna save this. And then once, once it's saved, I'm going to now use this as my background image in Divi. Okay, so with that, make sure it's saved as a JPEG and then hit on save. So we need to give this a name. So let's call this new hero JPEG. Right, so this needs to be saved to the desktop and I'm gonna click on save and pretty much that's done. All right, so the next stage now is to go into Divi and start building our page. And this is the second image that we're going to be using. So if you wanna use a similar image, I would uh, suggest that you go to uh, unsplash.com and download that image. All right, so as I said, I've already downloaded this, so let's go ahead and build our page. All right, so right now we are in Divi, so let's go ahead and build our page. So I've already gone ahead and added all my images into my media library. So let's create a brand new page and let's just call this, let's just call this watch. So this is gonna act as a promo page Click on use Divi Builder and for this, you know what? We're gonna build from scratch. So let's go ahead and do that. And we are going to go with, let's go with two columns. So in the first column here, we're just gonna have some text. So I'm gonna search for my text module. And in the second column here, we're going to have an image of the watch. So I'm gonna click here and let me search for my image module and select it. And we might as well add our image here and this is the watch. Upload an image and now my image has been added. So I'm gonna save that 
And the next stage now is to come over here to my section background. So I'm going to click here, go to background, and then I'm going to click on add background. No, not background color. Let's add a background image. So that's the image we're going to go with. I'm going to click upload an image. And now we can see that our watch is looking great here and our background really looks nice as well. So all we need now is the supporting text to make this page work. Now, if this image here looks way too big, all you have to do is to come over here to module settings and click on design sizing. So here we can adjust the width of this. So maybe we can set it to about, uh, let's go with 74. Okay, we're going to center that and save. Now it's time to work on our text. That's going to go with um, our background here. So for our text here, in fact, before I do that, I just want to go into my row settings here and uh, let's make a few adjustments. For our gutter width, I'm going to set this to, okay, let's set this to one. I'm going to equalize column heights and my width is okay at 80. I think that's fine. 1080, again, that's fine. In fact, you know what? Let's set this to 80%. Right, so that's looking great. I'm going to save. And you can see here that uh, our layout has been widened. So over here now, let's just uh, duplicate this and let's add one more. And this time we're going to add a button module. There we go. So the very first text here is going to work as heading text. So let's go ahead and go in and just say, discover the new, is it Apple Watch or iWatch? Apple Watch, I think. There we go. Discover the new Apple Watch. I'm gonna highlight it and turn this into heading one. So you can see now it's nice and bold. And then I'm gonna click on save changes. We also need a description text here. So I prefer to have some lorem text. Okay, so let's go ahead and choose our text for our description. So we're gonna go with that. And let's go in and paste our text in here. All right, so that's looking okay. I'm going to uh, go into the button now and customize the button. So to do that, I'm gonna click here and uh, I'm just gonna say more info. There we go, right. So I can also add a link here to the page that talks more about this, uh, this watch. But for now, I'm just gonna add a blank link and then I'm just gonna go and stylize this, uh, this button. So first of all, I'm gonna go to my use custom styles for button. So this will allow me to go in and customize this button. Now I have colors from the previous uh, tutorial. So I have to come up with a new color here. So for my text color, it's gonna be white, but for my button background color, I'm gonna go with a color that's in here, like these reddish, really dark colors there. Okay, so let's do that. Oops. So I'm gonna go with, um, I think that works great. Okay, so I'm gonna remove the border width. And then I'm going to add a bit of margin to this because it's way too close to my text. So let's add some top margin. So let's just set it to 2VW. There we go. Save that. I'm going to come over here and set my margin as well. 2VW. Bit too much, set it to one. Right, so I can see here my width is just way too much. So this is definitely not working. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to reduce this to about 70%. So I'm gonna go back to design, spacing. I don't know, in fact, we need sizing. And let's change this to about 70%. Maybe even 60, see how that looks. No, 70 is better. So you do need to go in and try out and see what is working here. So I'm gonna save that. Now we have a problem because things are not centered correctly. So I'm gonna 
uh, do something here to uh, center it. So just bear with me. All right, so we need some CSS code to center all of this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here to my row settings, click on advanced, custom CSS, on the, and then on the main element, this is the CSS code you need to enter. And you can see now everything is all looking great. So I'm gonna save this. And now pretty much everything is aligned correctly. So I can still see here with, we have a lot of gaps. So let me go in and fix our watch here. So let's go back and go into sizing, forceful width. So now the watch is nice and big. So I think that has helped for sure. Um, so now we can decide whether we're gonna, we're gonna have this watch that big or we want to reduce it a little bit. So we can go back in here into design, sizing, and uh, we can also, oops, I'm working on the wrong one. So you know what, when you add forceful width, you can't adjust the, um, the sizes here. So anyway, that's fine. Uh, I'm okay with that. So now that we have our text, next what we need to do is to just go in and make this text darker so that it really stands out. So I'm gonna go into design text and change this to a really dark color. We're gonna make this bold or semi bold. Let's try bold and see what it looks like. Yeah, maybe that works. We're gonna make this bigger. And for our line heights, I'm gonna set this to Let's go with 1.5. Okay, so I'm gonna save that. And then over here on the title, I'm gonna go back in and change the size as well. So I'm gonna go into design, heading text. Let's make it all caps. Let's increase our line height here. And for our style, we're gonna go with ultra bold. So our line height is a bit too much here. Let's bring it down a bit to about 1.2. So ultra bold and we want to make it dark as well. Okay, so let's go with 47 or 48. There we go. So I really like the way that is looking now. So pretty much that's going to be our design. So I'm going to save this and exit the visual builder.